The government has rolled out new regulations to govern employment both locally and abroad. The regulations unveiled by Labour CS Alfred Mutua are aimed at enhancing fair labour practices and clamping down on illegal recruitment agencies known to dupe Kenyans with false promises of lucrative jobs. The regulations will govern operations at the National Employment Authority, the National Industrial Training Authority and recruitment agencies. Ben Chumba with details of the new measures. In what could spell a new dawn for recruitment agencies and employers, the government has unveiled new measures aimed at governing their operations. Labor and Social Protection Cabinet Secretary Dr. Alfred Mutua says the new regulations are aimed at cleaning up the sector and expanding job opportunities for Kenyans overseas. Speaking during a high-level meeting, with stakeholders from county governments, the Department of Immigration and various financial institutions, Dr. Mutua pledged to crack down on drug recruitment agencies. Among the new changes is the introduction of financial partners to support recruitment agencies through provision of credit facilities for job seekers to pay recruitment fees upfront. The main aim is to reduce or remove any requirement of a person seeking work from coming up their own money to pay you to post their documents to overseas. You will get your money when you are paid for the services that you're providing by getting them to work for the job overseas. Additionally, recruitment agencies will be subjected to stringent vetting procedures, including an initial registration fee of 500,000 shillings for a two-year certificate. They know their rights. We will be telling them, for example, that nobody has a right to own the passport. Once you get overseas, you keep that passport. It's your identity card. No person overseas should hold the passport of a Kenyan. Uh, we've been having uh, challenges whereby people are being conned by agents. So if uh, they include the DCI part of it, that the, whoever has issues is, is stopped from working, then we will stop having people being conned their money. At the same time, Mombasa County government says it is preparing to flag off a team of Kenyans who are set to work abroad. New reforms will uh, improve on the welfare of Kenyans who will be working in the diaspora and that uh, as a county we are also in support of this program because we will want to have our first elect uh, batch which should be leaving in the next two, three months once we have uh, ratified our documents. We want to create opportunities for the residents of Mombasa to seek opportunities in the diaspora. So we came to learn about the reforms being put in place and uh, how we can align our policies to ensure that uh, those who seek opportunities abroad are able to be empowered. Ben Chumba, Prime Edition.